In this demonstration, we'll show how we can use JEVAL expressions to locate values in the data and highlight them, as well as use it use JEVAL expressioning to change the content of the cells in the table. So first of all, um, I'm going to change the format of the date in column one to a different format. To do so, I'm going to use a JEVAL expression. So I add an apply tag and I give it a name, format date. And I want to do this on all rows in column one. And I'm going to change the content uh, to something to another date format. So to do so, uh, I'm going to click on help, which will bring up our help, and I need the date format. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Here's our date format, and I want something like this. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. The first parameter is the format, the output format that I want. So I want this in the fully spelled out month name. Then I want the date, date, and then the year. The second parameter is the value that I want to convert. So instead of doing the literal value, we're going to use a macro. and that will get us the cell value. And then the third parameter is the format that that date is in, in that cell value. So the date is currently in the format of month, day, year. That way it can identify that date and convert it to our new date format. Now I'll click OK. Oh, things don't look quite right. We did not set one last field. Up here we've got a literal value and evaluate value. As you can see, it put the literal value of what we typed in in that cell. And that's not exactly what we wanted. We wanted that to be evaluated using JEVAL. There we go. Now our date is formatted the way we want it to be. Okay, now let's format the currency column. To do so, we'll add another apply. Give it a name. We want to do all rows in column two. And again, we want to do an evaluation. And we'll flip over to our help. And I'm going to scroll up to number format. Here's number format. And we want one that looks just like this. So copy that and paste that in here. So this is the output format that we want. This is the value that we want to format. And that is received as a number, so I need to convert this to a number. The third parameter is um, the output type, which is currency, C for currency. And the fourth parameter is our locale. By leaving it as TG locale, it uses the locale defined by the dashboard. All right, we missed something. We'll go back in and troubleshoot this. Number format. That's the format. Currency to number. Oh, currency to number takes a string. So we need to pass it in as a string. Try it again. And there we go. Looking good. OK, now we want to change that just a little bit. We'll show you how we can change the locale. Change it to show a douche mark. And we don't have that font installed, but you get the idea. And we'll change it back to use English US. Excellent. All right, now we want to show how you can use JEVAL to highlight values based on their current value. So we're going to add an apply, and we're going to say large values as our 
title. We're going to test every row in column two. And we are going to um, check to see if the cell value is greater than 1000. If it is, then I'm going to set the background color to be green. And we'll set the text color to be white. And we'll make it bold. So font weight of bold. Now these are just using standard CSS uh, values, parameters. And as you can see, we have three values that are over 1,000, so they are all highlighted. So let's say that we don't want all three. We don't want to hard code 1,000, but we want to highlight the highest value in this column because it's changing. So we'll go ahead and we'll edit this one, one more time. And we're going to change the, the expression a little bit, the condition a little bit. We're going to use a function. So we'll flip back over to our help. And we're going to take a look at a grid function that is called largest row in column. Now largest row in column will re return us the row number that has the largest value in it. So the largest row in column 2, if that is equal to the current row that I am in, so we'll put in the macro of row, so if the row that I'm taking, because this is going to look at every row in column 2, if that row um, as it's looking at each one of those, if that row number is equal to the largest row in that column, then we're going to set the background color and highlight it. There we go. The last row had the, had the largest value in it. Now I can show you how this is dynamic by changing the data itself. So we'll change this to be smaller. So now this cell should be the largest. And we'll take a look at our table one more time. Ah, it is highlighting the largest row again.